metal genre. A guy who has inspired an entire generation of kids to drop out of school and sleep with strippers every fucking day of their lives. Unfortunately, Vince Neil's on tour with Motley Crue right now, so I'm going to introduce you to this guy instead. A guy that I found back in 1981, when he was only 37 years old. Oh, hey, I was 36 and a half. When he was only 36 and a half years old. I'll tell you what, dude, I was shopping at a local Vons, and I saw this fucking guy, and I was like, hey, motherfucker. What? I said, you look like a chubby version of Brett Michaels. Nah, I'm a skinny version of Vince Neil. And I said, I said, you never fucking sang in a fucking band before? Never sang before in my life, bro. And I said, you're fucking hired. And to this day, that kid sounds good. he's still one of my top three employees in the band. <laughs> Make some noise for Michael Sutton! Happy belated Thanksgiving to everybody. Fuck yeah, make some noise, it's okay. And I, I know the good thing about Thanksgiving is everybody eats a little more food, and that means all the girls' boobs are gonna be just a little bit bigger tonight. Make some noise. <laughs> That's right. Big boobs, and I'm gonna give you some more stuffing after the show. Yeah. <laughs> With a little sausage. Shut up, dude. Anyways, speaking of breakfast and sausage links, a guy I traveled many roads with. We've gone uphills, downhills, we've had both broken tour buses, we've had drug overdoses, we've done two girls at the same time, and this guy right here, a very dear friend of mine, please put your hands together for the guy who made Steel Panther possible, and probably made everything else possible in the whole world, makes a noise for the one that This is fucking awesome, it is the holiday so season. Yeah, and I'm uh, actually going to be serving eggnog straight from the nozzle later, so I'm gonna give you a backstage pass. Woo! I can see this girl still celebrating Halloween right here on the front row. She's dressed like a goblin. goblin. She's gonna be gobbling my sperm after this show. <laughs> Listen, it's gonna be worth the $5 you paid to get in here. Ladies and gentlemen, make some fucking run. I know a lot of people are thinking, what happened to the fucking transvestite that was in the band? Listen, that guy quit to do gay porn for a living, but we got this fucking guy instead. Yeah. On the bass guitar tonight! All the way! From a Starbucks down the street from the band house. Found this guy right under our noses. He's not just a great bass player, but he's also really, really good at making frappuccinos. Woo! Make some noise for Spider! Satchel. Yeah, I make the best frappuccinos. Instead of putting that little tree thing on there, I put a big dick shooting sperm out on the top of That's the That's awesome. Of it. Nobody does that. Only Spider. That's fucking awesome. Make some noise for Spider. Oh, yeah. So you say, hey, what's up, you guys? How you doing? Hey. hey Spider. Remember what we talked about before? When you talk to a fucking audience, you gotta fucking let them know you're excited to fucking be here, man. Let them feel your fucking voice. What's that, so That was way better. Yeah. Great job on that. Thank you. Make some noise for Spider. When he's not... Fuck yeah, I love you guys. When he's not playing the bass, you can find him hanging out on the web. <laughs> spider, get it? Spider. Ladies and gentlemen, all the drums tonight, make some noise for Sticks and Ninja! Sticks it in there. Sticks was telling me this morning he doesn't feel like he gets all the credit he deserves. So I'm just gonna give him props right fucking now. He's one of the fucking best drummers in the band. And he's also an incredible marijuana salesman. After the show, he's gonna be selling pop brownies that he made at his mom's house. Also, 
a lot of people don't know this, but tonight he's gonna, I'm gonna give him this opportunity. He's one of the world's greatest impersonators, doing his impersonation of the drummer from Def Leppard, Rick Allen. Make some noise for Sticks. Just one more arm, we would have caught that. If you're not clapping right now, you better be Rick Allen. Okay, Sasha, so you know what they say about Rick Allen? What do they say about Rick Allen? He always feels left out. Ah, left out, I get it, that's good. That's not all they say about Rick Allen. What do they say about Rick Allen? They say, he's all right. All right. All right. You know what else they say about Rick Allen? What? This is the last Rick Allen joke we're gonna, put, we're gonna say. Rick Allen was to fuck Asian hookers in the ass. Who does it? Who does? <laughs> Let's go!